Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors. Happy Work Tough Gear Wednesday. It's Wednesday, October 25th, saying that for the video. Here's the deal, guys. We're going to discuss EDC. What does it mean? Well, the definition in our community is simply everyday carry. Everybody knows about my buddy Steven, who just, you know, the ha I use hashtag EDC a lot on my shorts. And uh, I'll let him know and you know, I'm not changing how I do things. But let's discuss EDC. And I don't want to come at this from an arrogant standpoint. I want to talk to you about the channel, how we run it. Um, but I want to cover this in two ways. What is my personal EDC? And then what does EDC mean for the channel? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you. I'm headed to uh, Gainesville right now. Just pulled over, readjusted the straps and things. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you a couple of knives. I'm going to show you four knives. I'm going to show you three knives. And then we're going to discuss some things. While I'm doing it, guys, let's do it this way. There was a time in this country where 22 bets a day took their own lives now. Stats are everywhere. They're from between, the honest numbers are between 15 and 29. That's why here on this channel we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. That's we love you. You have a place here. That's all that means, man. Listen, this one's controversial, but it's my cause. I back the blue. How do you do it, Scab? Well, I try not to break the damn law. I do from time to time, uh, not always on purpose. And when I do, sometimes it is on purpose. I accept responsibility. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. And a quick caveat, those three do not run together. They don't have anything to do with each other. They're my causes. I ask no one to support them. I appreciate those of you that do, though, but I respect those of you that don't. Please know that. And that's going to kind of tie into this video. This is the Nomad EDC, funny enough. So, my Swiss Army knife, which Alfonso hates Swiss Army knives. And buddy, I love you, and I appreciate you supporting the channel. And I totally respect your opinion on that. I want you to know that. But, but, and we're going to talk about that on the back end of the channel, about what happens when folks don't like the knives I show. We'll talk about that. My Swiss Army knife, Chris Hall gave me. I've been carrying this for a couple weeks now, ever since I returned from Blackie's. I'm going to carry it for a couple weeks more. I've used it. I've enjoyed it. I understand it's not for everybody. But if I had to pick two in the strictest terms of those definitions, what is my EDC? These two. My Nomad EDC. I carry this every damn day. I may rotate it once a week, but normally this is in my pocket. My Swiss Army knife. These are the two knives that are on me. And then I rotate. Okay. Those two are my personal EDC. Now, let's jump into the broader picture. Before I do that, here is an EDC knife in terms of the channel. I'm going to explain what I mean. This is a new release by Work Tough Gear. They are dropping October 27th, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the website. No idea what the cost is. Guys, I don't look up prices. I really don't. Mr. Vic sends me knives to review, and that's what I do. Um, I don't say that meanly, I don't say it arrogantly, but here's what happens, and, the, and, and this is the way I happen to run my channel. I don't do pricing. I will here and there. I don't like to do it because, one, it dates the video. Two, if there's an increase, or if, God forbid, I misspeak, then I have to hear a buttload of shit about it when I don't own the company, I'm not vested in the company, I don't make a dime off the company. So I just don't do the prices. What I will do is put a link to the to the website and check it out. This one is designed by ODM Knives. It's got a wicked, wicked skull splitter there. But this one I like a lot, man. This one, I'm digging a ton. This is the Asset. It's SK85. Um, it's got that combat utility knife feel. It is a beast. I'm going to do my dead level best to get a review in before Friday, if I can. I love this damn thing. G10 handle scales, blue liners, really fills up the hand. And I've got to look up ODM knives, too. They're the designer. Now, that being said, let me throw my seatbelt. We're going to talk a minute. In the comments, I want you to put what your criteria for an EDC is. Now, I want to say this up front. I don't care what anybody carries. That is not me saying that, like, even I don't care. Like, the whining bitch, like there are in this community. I'm saying that, like, you do you, boo. I, I am fascinated by what you carry. You should know that. So I would prefer on a lot of these videos, especially like when we're talking EDC and things like that, if you put, Scab, this is what I carry. Let me get on the road here. 
I like hearing it. I like knowing what people carry. But I want I want to tell you something because I'll always hear scab. Don't worry about trolls. I don't. I don't lose one hour of sleep over them. In fact, it just it helps me with content sometimes. But here's how I am, and this is not just with this channel. This is me in life. I'm in my own business. Always have. Always will. What you do is your business. What you carry is your business. I want to hear what you carry, but I'm not going to judge what you carry. I have to be very, very careful and very mindful every day that I have a knife channel that has grown. I have to be careful every day that I get more opportunities than a lot of people do, okay? Not everybody can, can get the knives I get in to test. I'm thankful for that. That being said, here's my criteria for EDC and why well, I know it takes a minute, but if you're a fan of the, 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 the riding with scabs, you know I ramble and ramble and ramble. Here's my criteria for EDC. Is it sharp? Will I use it? Is it tough? That is my work day EDC. I don't care about aesthetics. I don't care about cost. I don't care who made it. I don't care where it was made. When I am carrying a knife, Monday through, let's just say Saturday, because I've been working a ton of those, and I'm going to work, I want a knife that's sharp, I want a knife that's durable, I want a knife, oh, the handle has to be comfortable to use. I don't have some huge checklist, right? That's what I look for. The Swiss Army knife, totally different for me. Now, somebody asked me uh, not too long ago, Gab, what did you carry before the sack? Nothing. I've never really carried a multi-tool. I have one in the bag. I have a bag in my car, um, and not my bag of knives, but I have a tool bag, and it's got a um, Leatherman Wave in it. But the truth is, I've never really carried one on my purse, right? So that's why I wanted to carry the sack. And let me just say this, because I'll forget it if I don't. Shout out to BC Jerbs. He's close to 700 subs. I want to get him over 1,000. He's an awesome dude. There's a reason I'm mentioning Jerbs. He did a video in response. I did like a quick short, what's your favorite uh, tool on the sack? Minus the saw, just this. Jerbs did a badass video in response where he used his sack not only to, to scrape uh, some, some shavings off fat wood, but strike a ferrocinium rod. If I can remember, I will put that video in the description. I love Jerbs. He uses, he's more on the bushcrafty side. You're going to see a lot of Fatwood Fridays from him. Him and Miss Kimmers, they're awesome people. He likes those types. Jerbs loves wooden handles. Loves them. Right? My point is this. No matter what you carry, you have to, to enjoy it. I'm not, I will never tell you, oh, you can't carry that. And nobody's going to tell me that either. See, where I get irritated, guys, is this. I don't have a problem if you look at a knife I show and say, Gab, yeah, you know, ah, man, I don't know. In my opinion, um, I, I just don't see it. Okay, that's the kind of feedback we want. Here's why on that, and, and this might be a little rambly, but stick with me. A lot of times as we've grown, um, designers and, and knife makers actually watch the video. Now, not many other people do, but they do. So when you put those kind of comments in, it gives them pause for thought. Hey, I wouldn't have done this. Now, are they going to change? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. But feedback is good. It also helps me. Here's where I get irritated. That's a piece of shit. And you don't know because you've never used it. See, I don't go to other channels and talk shit. Well, I hate that knife. If it's a knife I've never handled, I've never seen it, I haven't even picked it up, I haven't seen it on, I'm not saying anything about it. I might say, hey, man, that, you know, that blade shape's not me but you did it justice, or hey, I like the, I, matter of fact, I don't know that I've ever even said that. I'm a pretty positive person. There's enough people on the internet that are negative, right? They don't need one more. And the fact of the matter is this, what good does that do? None. Is it gonna change? No. Am I trying to change it? No. That's how I look at my EDC. Is it sharp? Is it easy to use? Is it easy to get to? Just, just certain parameters. I don't really worry about the looks. On the weekends, I carry a little more expensive knives. Now, I don't carry, I don't not carry an expensive knife during the week because I want to. I don't want to mess it up. It's not why I don't carry. A lot of my more expensive stuff, as many of you know, I sandblast and powder coat. 
there's not a folder on this planet that would make it through a sandblast day. So whether it was a $25 knife or a $30 knife or a $5,000 knife, whatever, I'm not carrying it out there to sandblast, not doing it. The other side of it is, when I'm at work, dude, I'm filthy dirty. Nobody's going to go, hey, Scab, let me see that good-looking knife. Most people, I look homeless most of the time, and people avoid me like the plague when I go to the store. I don't blame them. The weekend's different. If I'm going out with Megatron, or we're, like this weekend, we're going over to my mom and dad's, I'll probably carry a more expensive knife. I'm still going to use it if I need it. I've used that Medford. We've got two uh, hard-use videos on it. It's sharp as shit. I'm going to carry it. Or my Spartan RZ folder. I'm going to carry something a little more expensive, one of my more grail knives. It don't even have to be expensive. Let me change that. Let me change that. A knife that I may not carry during the week, I'm going to carry on the weekend. I carry more than one knife. Always have, always will. I'm pairing it back now to, to three to four, right? Um, it's not a matter of need. I enjoy doing it. I always carry a fixed blade, bucket fixed blade. I always carry a really sharp knife, like I've got my Colossus in my pocket now, it's super sharp, or a Code 4. I always carry my Swiss Army knife now, I'm, I'm using it more, and then I usually carry an off-the-wall folder that I normally wouldn't. That's how I do my EDC. I, the hashtag EDC is used, people use that to look up stuff. So in terms of life of the channel, I'm not going to stop using that. The other side of that is this, and let's swap to the channel side okay this is this is what i'm talking about here megatron and i were talking last night just because i don't edc it don't mean it's not an edc knife right so in terms of the channel when i put edc or something like that that is a knife that i would carry every day that's all it means now i can't go through and explain to people every damn day what I mean exactly. I'm not making up more hashtags except LMA, lick my ass. I will put that one in. But other than that, I, I, I ain't worried about it. See, I look at this channel. A lot of people look at my channel like, oh, Scab's a blue collar good old boy. I am. And I work just like you do. And I want everybody to be comfortable and welcome here. I want it to be casual. I want you to be able to say your opinion, especially in this video. Especially in this video. I want to hear what you carry. You don't have to put why. But what do you like? Do you have some parameters? Are there some musts? Are there some restrictions? Put them in there. When I work doing underground utility locates, I EDC a, a belt knife, right? So a lot of times for me and with the channel, the EDC is a generic term. What makes a good EDC knife? Nobody can tell you that. You have to, you have to determine that for yourself. Some, some guys carry huge Bowie knives every day. They really do. There are certain states that allow you to do it. They do it. There are certain guys who carry uh, uh, Jack Wolf or smaller slip joints, things like that case, uh, all the old school slip joints, right? There are guys who will carry cold steel. We can go on and on and on and on and on. What constitutes a good EDC? Any knife that you want to carry and you can carry it. Now, if it's a damn sword or machete, uh, you know, we're testing the bounds, but again, if you carry it every day, there it is. Put in the comments what you think. Now, from a channel standpoint, let me get back on that. There are a lot of knives that are or would be a good EDC knife. Every morning, I show you that day's carry. Well, what it is more than that is that day's feature knives, right? I'm still going to have, I'm always going to have my, my Nomad EDC because this for me is a catch all do all. Now, if I don't carry this knife, then I carry my Mount Laguna, or I mix in another one, but a pocket fixed blade is one of my EDCs or daily carries. It just is. From the standpoint of the channel, we put the hashtag EDC because I think that might be a good EDC knife that you might enjoy carrying every day or someone would carry every day. It, it's as simple as that. I can't tell you what to carry. Wouldn't try, don't dream to. I don't know what your needs are. Some people have office type needs. Some people have kitchen needs. Some people have industrial needs. Some people are sportsmen. Whatever your need is, that's what you do. And that's it. You do you boo. I'm not changing. Let me back off that. There are certain things 
that I'm not going to change. Now, and, 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 and let me get into what I said I was going to get into. When someone doesn't like one of my knives, I'm totally cool with it. Do you know how arrogant I would have to be to take it personally when you don't like a knife I carry? And I'm not that arrogant. I have some arrogance. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I work on it every day. But guys, I'm not that. I, yeah, knife sucks. Well, you know, there, there's a difference in not liking a knife and a personal attack. See, there's a lot of guys, and I'm not talking about trolls. We get, we get, we get some things messed up, messed up and twisted. Not everybody that, that goes after you or puts some kind of shit ass comment is a troll. There's other, there's, there's other people online that'll do that. You know, sometimes people get a little, get a little sideways. Um, or I, I get this comment, yeah, you YouTubers get now, especially with Work Tough Gear. Guys, Work Tough Gear, Vic Lynn and his team are six people. He put his time, his effort, his money up to start a company. The man's building it the best way he knows how, but because somebody can't get a knife they wouldn't buy anyway, they get all pissy about it. I used to, to try to defend, well, I, I'm not defending shit. If a company wants to send me a knife, they've got a reason they send it. I'm not going to sit here and list them. I know, and, and here's the other thing, and, and this could probably go for any content creator on here. I know the amount of work I put in for that particular company. I know the amount of work I put in that listen to what I said there. I don't make a dime off work tough gear. If anybody ever tells you I do, that's a lie and it's a fallacy. I am like a dog. I am loyal to work tough gear because when nobody else wanted to take a chance, they did. Right? My thing is this, we're gonna, we're gonna take this two ways, we're gonna wrap it up, try to keep it under 20, 25 minutes. Most of you are gone anyway. If you don't like a knife I show, I, t I just, a guy commented the other day, he says, Gab, you and I have totally different ideas on what we like, but I love the channel. Alfonso said, brother, I love you, I hate Swiss Army knife. I understand, man. I, I would hope that at some point I showed some knives, you know, that you're like, hey, we're, we got it there. But, but, but I also understand that we have a very distinct style, right, that we do. So, I listen, I appreciate it a shit ton. If you don't like the knives I show, but you enjoy the channel and you watch anyway, dude, thank you. I mean, that really, that, that, that says a lot, and I am super, super appreciative for that. Now, last thing, the, um, shoot, what was it? What was it come out? Oh. Only YouTubers get knives. That used to bother me. I used to try to justify. I know the amount of work I put in. That's what I was going to say. For that company. Listen to what I'm telling you. I don't do it for a paycheck. There is a certain amount of personal pride that I take in demonstrating a knife. I do my dead level best to do the best demonstration and review that I can do. And I do everything that I can do to demonstrate the knife, right? So I have zero qualms, somebody's calling. I have zero qualms when people send me a knife because I'm going to bust my ass to do my best to do it. I don't have to justify it to anybody. I really don't. I tune that shit out and go. Where I would feel guilty or where I should feel guilty is if I ever get to a point in a place where I'm half-assing it. That's a problem. Other than that, guys, I bust my ass. I don't have to justify shit. As long as I bust my ass to do the best video I can for the knife and then for you. What do I mean? If a knife is unsafe, if a knife isn't built well, if a knife is poor quality, I owe it to you to say, hey, this is what I think. The reason I do the videos the way I do with the demonstrations is so you can see it. I can't edit for shit. So what you see is what you get, right? So I do my dead level best to show you the knife so you can make your own decision. You're all adults. I, I hope, my, my, my prayer is to get to a point where you, I can demonstrate a knife and you go, that's a knife I would carry. Not because of scab, is hyping it up but because I can see what it would do I can see its strengths I see its witness weaknesses and that fits me that's my goal 
all that being said, guys, I love y'all. God knows I do. God bless y'all. I hope he does. I'm Scab. You're not. Have a great work tough gear Wednesday, man. I'm going to try to get some kind of video out tonight, but if I don't, I'll put out a shit ton of shorts. I'll see you then. I'm gone, son. <laughs>